Where's my hide? No, that person is next. I'll just open it. There we go. Now we're cutting out some belts. One. Mark center hole where it's measured from. That lever seems to be in pretty good quality up to maybe about a 46 inch waist. Right? See that we even hand cut our tips, how about that? There you now go. There's your tip. Now we're going to take our 46 inch belt that we sized and slightly wet it. We're going to caliper our line. Basically gives us a guideline where to follow with the tooling. And we're going to start with our custom tip. line keep it straight now we've got to line it back up coming down the other side now we're going to the next tool which will do the stacking technique which is going to be up three and then stack it with two. Now we're just doing the same thing, opposite side. When our stacking meets up, that's what gives it the diamond effect. Just like that there. Okay, now we're gonna put in our filler tool, which we take what we call our little grass here, and just kind of give it a little filled look. And we fill all these little empty spaces that we stacked. Thank God this is a smaller, easier to stamp tool. But you can really see You really see the effects of the diamonds now coming in. Now the last things are a little cedar tool, which we're just gonna fill the center of this here. Gives it its overall finish. And we just whack one of them in there. And that's pretty much how the pattern goes. There we go. And there it is. And we take a little scrap here, we just kind of burnish the edges down so they're not so sharp. And now it's my turn to do the die work. First thing I do is edges. And I just take a black dauber. And we're coming down our edges. All right, next step is the antique. I have my antique mixed up in this little mustard jar that Dusty came up with as an idea. And then just rub it. Where the antique is going to sit in the cracks here. Okay, get that pretty good in the cracks. Then you're actually wiping off the excess. And over the top with my base color. The hole. This is my 
my base color that I want. here for now. And I'll just come up in here because to make a little stacked tools. Outlining them on the other side now. I like the diamonds. I'm rubbing a lot of the excess dye out of this rag because I'm going to just go over the diamonds like this. Just the down shade of this. <laughs> yes. Okay. This is resin going on the edge. Shines it up and protects it a little bit. Punching our holes. Walking them around. Quiet in the peanut gallery. Okay, we're going with our slot punch for our buckle prong to go through. Center that. And there's our slot punch. This is for our, what we call it, Chicago screws. So we use these because it can be removed. Always wet your fold so it gets a nice sharp fold. Measure for holes from the back so our alignment is exact. We have the belt finished product we're going to put on the hardware. Basic buckle that is included with our belt. We call a Chicago screw that mounts the buckle on can be undone to change to go to any buckle. Okay. There it goes. And we're going to add our little leather loop or keeper. It's in between the there. And the last fastener. Are we good? No, keep it where it's supposed to. 